Okay, now I have put that bit of straight bit of tracking down there. So it's gone back in nicely. Um, I should point out at this point that the fish plates I bought were actually the wrong ones. Yes, because when I typed into Hatton's 009 fish plates, I came up with these. Which are in fact 00HO fish plates. Which aren't really the correct ones for 009 track. So it's a good thing I have these two curves here which are spares because I have essentially used the fish plates off those to put into that piece of track there to fix it back into place which it has done nicely so now we can move on with the rest of the project ok so coming back to this area here what I've been doing is I've been starting to shape it and I've been doing that using some cotton wool balls glued down using watered down PVA and so when it's dried and painted it should come out very much like that bit over there has which has been done using exactly the same method of done and by doing this it makes it look a bit more natural and more interesting And obviously this is going to get painted up and I've scattered put on it, so it's not going to be left like this, obviously. And I'm sure there's some people thinking, oh, we can't do it like this. Well, we can. As I have basically just shown you. And it does work quite well. So, that glue needs to be left dry before I can do anything else with it. Okay, so one thing I have just done is I have glued that piece of wall there back into place because before it was over here I am quite very pleased with this area actually it's probably one of my favourites that I've done on this layout I might buy a couple of more pigs in the future actually so just a bit of cobweb there, so yeah, I might buy some more pigs in the future and get some more put in here. So that's just one little bit I thought I'd show you. That there, I'm probably going to get some bushes in that put there, obviously, in place. But that's going to be done later on. Okay, so work on the bridge has now started. But before I go on to that, just to show you this bit here. This should be stuck down there, so these can be taken off, which we used to weigh it down. But remember the gap that was under here that was raising the track up? Well, that's now been taken care of using these bits of cardboard, which have raised it up. And so now that, now that does look a bit better. Obviously, this is not going to be noticeable, obviously. Once the layout is finished off, it is going to be covered up. What I could do is just get bits of carrier bag, like I did with this area here, and just simply glue it along the side here. Which shouldn't be difficult to do. So I could do that and then just simply paint it up and then put scatter on it. And that would look really nice. So there's there's that bit done but also over here just straightening the track out a bit um, it will be fixed down of course but then over here the main bit to talk about is the bridge which is being started so obviously the first bit of the bridge has been across the main line here the polystyrene pieces there and there have been painted grey I've painted this side of the polystyrene on both sides and even painted these sides here as you can see and with this one here I've even painted the inside bit at the front just there not that I needed to because it's never going to be seen but that's what I did and I've even painted the back of that bit there again didn't need to because it's never going to be seen but I've done that anyway and so it does look nice now all painted 
Then you've got that strip of cardboard there, which is actually three pieces glued together and painted. And what I've done there essentially is, but obviously the one at the top was longer, and the other two pieces are smaller, so it's just been slotted on top of the polystyrene and glued into place, which has now been dried. And so the next bit we've got to do is to make the bridge across the sea. One thing I have had to do though is that those two pieces of wall there, they have had to come away from there to glue it down. But I will glue those walls back on. Also, I did have to chisel away at some of the sand to glue the polystyrene on, as you can see there. So I've got to put some of the sand back. You can see the sand there that's had to be dug up. The reason we've had to go back to the bare board to glue that bit of polystyrene there to glue that part of the bridge on is because it wasn't sticking very well on the sand if I'm being honest and it just wasn't working so I had to chisel away some of the sand to go back to the bare board to glue that bit on where it's now stuck nice and firm and not going anywhere but in the case of just gluing it on the sand you could just simply pull it off again and the glue wasn't even like I said, it wasn't even sticking very well. It was just soaking into the sand, basically. So there's that bit that's been done. I've got to charge the camera back up because it's going flat. And so the next bit, like I say, is to start now making the bridge across the sea. Okay, so this area here, I have put some cotton wool balls down. Again, that's just to shape it, to get rid of that sharp edge of the cardboard, just to make it look that bit more realistic. It is still drying as you can see because the glue is still a bit wet in places but once it is dry it will get painted green very much like well as it is along here that was done using exactly the same method I do need to try and get some better green paint though because the green paint I already have it's quite runny. I have thickened it up a bit using PVA, but I could do with some green paint that's already thick, to be honest. Uh, the best place, well, where I normally get it from is Home Bargains. Which, you know, the green paint that they sell there is pretty good, but you can't always get a hold of it. And so recently I've been going in there, they don't seem to have it in stock, so I will have to keep trying. But either way, so this area has been done round here, so it's, it is looking good. In my opinion. And it will look even better once it's painted. And of course the mice as well, put scatter on it as well, so then it will look even better. Now this area around here has been painted, as you can see. I've painted it green. And I did manage to find some of that green paint that you can get from Home Bargains, because I had a tub of it which was just down here however there wasn't much in it so I had to squeeze as much out of it as I could to get this area painted and I've managed to paint this whole area around here all I need to do now really is to wait for that to dry and then get some scatter on it and that will look brilliant but it is looking good at the moment I know I'm genuinely quite pleased with this as well so there's not much else to say really on this area but once I do get some more paint this area around here will get painted and it will look very much like that bit there and that over there and you see by doing this making it by reshaping where the cardboard was to make it more realistic by using cotton wool balls which will then be covered over with scatter and whatever it will look very nice and it also looks a bit more realistic as well, actually. Especially if it's around here, it's like there's bushes there and stuff. Whereas 
Well, he could say it. he was bushes if he wanted to, I suppose. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. And then it will look even better once scatters got gone on. I have also been reshaping this bit round here. Because there was a piece of card under that track there, obviously to raise it up. But to get rid of that sharp edge, I've basically flattened out a couple of cotton... Well, essentially one cotton wool ball flattened out ripped into a couple of pieces and then, and then simply glued there into place this PVA glue which has been watered down, not by me, it already came watered down and it's working really well for things like this I did, I did have to move a couple of these though f along there to simply fit it into place I can't remember what these are called now at the top of my head. But I had to simply move a couple around just simply to glue these down into place. But they will get painted up and get scattered put on them. Okay, now to talk about something a bit more interesting, which is the bridge across the sea. Which you might be wondering what those blocks of polystyrene are on the sea, which they have been glued into place and hopefully by now that glue should be dry but those are the columns for the bridge they have yet to be painted but they will be I've also added a couple of pieces of polystyrene there as well for a bit of support, they'll get painted as well but what's going to happen is there's going to be a strip of cardboard going on top of the columns there which obviously <laughs> that's support the track and it's to prevent the, those big gaps under the track as well to make it look better as well as you can see the track has been started to lay down on it now that bit of straight there, that was actually well originally it was a four straight but we had to sort in two to make it half a straight because we haven't got any half straights however in doing so I think we've made it a bit short because obviously now you've got that gap there in the middle and obviously if I pull that track down to fill that gap in then that track's going to look out of place and ruin it so thankfully we have got the other part of that straight where I might have to saw a little bit off that in order to keep the track as it is Speaking of the track, I have also ordered the correct 009 fish plates as well. But anyway... So yes, um, now this bit over here for the bridge. Uh, now down here is where there's going to be the incline. As you can see, some of the card board that was there has been ripped up, obviously because there we're going to build the incline so it runs up to that bit there. Which by the way in order to glue those pieces down just like I had to do over there I had to chisel away at the sand around there to simply get back to the bare board in order to glue the polystyrene on because otherwise if it didn't do that it wouldn't stick down properly it would just soak into the sand and yeah it wouldn't be very good at all but I've put some of that sand back though as you can probably see. So I think the next thing to do really now is to paint those columns and that part over there up, which is going to be painted grey, obviously the same colour as the bridge over here. It's going to look no good otherwise if it's painted in different colours. But yeah, so that's the bridge for now, which is starting to look good and can't wait for it to be finished. Okay, so out here I've been painting these parts for the bridge, for the one that goes across the main line. So here we have basically half a portal, if that's what you want to call it, for the front of the bridge. I've got to make one for the back of the bridge. 
and I've also made these supports if that's the right word to call them but basically they've been made in the same way I did with the one that goes across the main line a very long piece of cardboard and two smaller ones which have been glued underneath it and basically the idea is is that you just put some glue under these bits here and just slot them on top of the columns on the bridge so it just simply slots into place basically now I have been painting these bits as you can see they have had two coats and so I've now just got to let them dry as you can see there's the paint now that I've been using to paint them so once I'll dry I'll then get them added onto the bridge I, will. I have also been out and got some green paint slightly different shade to the green paint I've been using before but it still does I've got two of these and so I've painted these cotton wool balls here so they will get scattered put on them as well of course at a later date but yeah that's looking good that had to have two coats and then over here I've also painted this area as well again two coats of it had to be used but that's looking quite nice and obviously again I will put some scatter down on here later and so that's looking really good okay so we have an update on the bridge which for the most part is finished some of those people they do need to be glued back on but that's something that can be done later but yes yeah, so this bridge is looking more or less finished now there's still a few bits to do on it but it is for the most part done that bit over there now I did say earlier that that was a portal it was basically to go on the front of the bridge just there that was a mistake because I actually thought that, that was meant to be glued onto there but no it was to be glued on top of that bit there but never mind we've also fixed in these as well an extra two of them were made done using exactly the same method as that one there and these two just strips of cardboard glued together and then slotted into place glued and slotted in just like as you can see there so that is looking really good and of course they have been painted as well some of the glue has run down a bit there as you can see but that does not matter because that will dry off and then it won't really be noticeable but yeah I'm quite pleased with that obviously we now need to work on this bit here so it might be a case where we could make another bit like that there to be glued onto here I don't know that's something we're gonna work out but track lane can be started soon and one thing I am planning to do with the bridge possibly is because you can get some girders for a bridge from Pico they're not too expensive they're about what about three quid something like that so what I was thinking of doing is getting a couple of them to go on the bridge because then that would look pretty awesome to have a girder bridge across the sea so that is something I am going to do because that would look brilliant I think in my opinion and what I could do as well is there are some other bits you can get from Pico for a bridge that I could stick on top of there at the sides of the bridge so I think that's something I will be doing but yeah so for the most part that's the bridge done obviously there's still more few things that need to be done but apart from that it is mostly finished so now we can start finishing it off and getting the rest of the track connected up okay so what we've done is we've added another big piece of cardboard here very much like the one over there only thing is with this one we had to add a bit of extra cardboard onto that bit there because otherwise there was a gap in between that piece of card there and this big piece here so we've filled that gap in 
However, what we have also done is we have put a piece of polystyrene under there. Just to keep it lifted up like that, because without that polystyrene, this was actually sagging down a bit. So we've glued that piece of polystyrene under there to support it. You will also notice that the polystyrene piece that was here originally is gone. That's because it's now being used under there. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to start to work on the incline down here. Which is why we've removed that piece of polystyrene. So we can have it running down here and down to about somewhere here, maybe. Also, some of the bits of track have been connected up already. Obviously, that bit of straight and these curves here. Obviously, we've got a couple of curves and a straight piece there and several straights there, ready to be connected up and laid down onto the bridge. And there's a few pieces of track that have yet to be connected together and all that, but that's not going to happen yet because we are still waiting for the fish plates to come. So as soon as they arrive, that piece of track there can have fish plates on and be connected up to that bit there and then we can start connecting up all the track. So the bridge is now pretty much finished. But I am going to be getting some Pico Gerda Bridge sides to go on the bridge because it would look awesome to have a Gerda Bridge running across the sea. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it into a Gerda Bridge. And also I'm going to get some other Pico Bridge sides to run on top of there to make it look a bit more interesting. So that's my plan. For the bridge. Okay, so this area here has now had some scatter on, as you can see. Which now it looks more natural and a bit more realistic as well. And what I've done is I have used some of that static grass over here made by that company which I'm not going to attempt to pronounce and this is the I do believe it's the summer styled static grass if I remember rightly and that does look really nice now now that that area has been scattered over I have also done the same with this area down here again that looks very nice and I have also put some scatter along down here again the same sort same stuff I should say rather and I have also put some scatter along here I did actually reshape this bit here to take off the sharp look along here I will be doing this bit as well later on but I have done this bit for now and it was painted green and then I just simply put some of that static grass on top which now it looks a bit better you'll also notice that there is a siding here now which I have put down it's only a small siding but my plan is to make it a disused siding so I will put a set of buffer stops there at some point I could have run it up to here but I just wanted a small siding I know what you're thinking, it looks a bit close to the track there, but it doesn't matter. You know, because it adds a bit more variety to the layout. And to be honest, I have seen sidings in real life that are quite close to the track. In cases like this. So, why shouldn't that not be done on a model railway? So I am quite pleased with this. Obviously, this scatter on here is probably going to end up being covered with ballast later on when that comes into play once the track is all laid down but at least it's all around here will be visible so that looks nice so I'm quite pleased with that obviously I know there's a bit of a gap here but that's something I can sort out later on but it shouldn't cause too much of a problem for the track to go on anyway. But either way, it's looking good. 
We have also made the incline, as you can see. And the glue is now set. And the way we've done it, unlike that one over there that we used cardboard strips to raise it up, with cardboard strips bent into shape and then used to raise it up, in this case we've used blocks of polystyrene. So what I need to do now is to cut some strips of card, glue them all along here, and then I then shape it, done exactly the same thing as I did over there, on that one with carrier bags obviously and then it will be painted and scattered yes that bit over there will be getting painted because that was used to as, as explained before to cover up those bits of card used under there to raise the track up so that there has covered it up so that will be my next thing to paint it and then I will put some more of that static grass on it like I've done with that area there. Here I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just normal scatter. So that will be my next thing to do. Okay, so what I've been doing over here is I've been laying out some real slate, which I have scattered all on the top of here. And it's been using real slate. I've done this using real slate because I have got some bits of real slate in the garden and I've just simply smashed them up into small pieces and I've just simply scattered them down on here so it's sort of like a slate quarry of sorts I have left this bit here as it is with scatter on so obviously the idea is is, what, is that locomotives push slate wagons up to here where they get either filled up with slate or emptied, whichever way, and the idea is with this bit here being left as it is, is that people can walk on here, obviously, so they can load up or fill up the wagons. Because if this was all completely covered with slate, I think it would look a bit silly, if I'm being honest. And you will also notice as well, that I have laid down some more track up here. I have still got to get some more. I think just one more pack of straights might just do it to finish this bit off up here and then of course I'm going to need a buffer stop as well obviously because otherwise locomotives will just be pushing the wagons off over the end of here they'd be falling down on the floor and getting ruined basically and I have actually started nailing down some of the track there and there so this is the first bit of track that's been nailed down, but it wasn't easy to do it. Uh, the holes that you get in the track already are a bit small, a bit too small in fact to get the little nails I have. So I had to make them bigger by using that mini electric drill I have. To simply open up the holes a bit bigger and then to simply hammer them down into place. And it's worked quite well, I think. And so that's now starting to look pretty good. I have also covered up that little bit there using some dark coloured scatter. I know it looks a bit odd there, given all this is all green, but you know, you can get some various different shades of scatter on your layout in one place. I mean, I have seen that in reality where you might come across a field or somewhere and there's different shades of green or whatever so why shouldn't it be any different on a model railway? Besides I could perhaps put a few bushes along here as well at a later date so it's not really much of a problem. So that's this area up here. Also the rest of the track has been laid down as you can see clearly so all the track that I had bought was enough to finish all this off. All I've got to do now is connect up the rest of the track. That bit there and those straight and then get that small piece of track connected up because we have received the fish plates, the, the correct ones as well. And so as soon as the rest of this is connected all up together 
then that's basically it. That's the main part of the track all finished and set up. It will just then be that little bit up there left to do. So I am really rather happy that I've got the main part of this project all set up. And that is looking really good now. So I've got to get the rest of the track connected up and also I've got to get this bit finished up here because I have now been started to shape it with carrier bags and it's now getting painted which the second coat of green has gone on because it's needed more than one coat I have also painted that bit over there but that's going to need another coat and I have actually added a few bits of shrub shrubs over there as well as you can just about see so it's starting to look nice so I think probably I might need to put another coat on the top of here though especially to hide these bits of black card here as well I think and I might put some bushes down along here especially because there are a few gaps such as excuse the strap then such as there and there I will show you a proper view of this in a minute in fact actually there we go so that's looking really nice. I might put some scatter on it, I don't know. I have got to, got to cut away at that bit of card down there as well to get rid of it basically. Because otherwise that's just going to look a bit silly there with that being noticeable. So yeah, I'm actually quite pleased with this. This paint is still drying as you can see, there's still a few wet bits there. So as soon as it's dry completely I will put another coat on top of here so it is starting to look good so I better crack on with what else I've got to do okay well I'm pleased to report that all the track is now connected up I'm very pleased that it's all done well. The main part of the track is anyway. So there's only a few things left to do now to finish the project off. As you can see this has now been finished the incline there, it's all been painted I'll, I might put a bit more paint on the top actually but other than that the side there is pretty much done and you will also notice that I have glued a few bushes in place as you can see I might put some more on at a later date also this bit over here has been given another coat it is still a little bit wet as you can see it's not long just been done but it's pretty much now done so just gotta let the paint dry on that I might put some more scatter along here if I'm being honest some more of that static grass stuff but I'm gonna leave this green so I'll be leaving this bit unpainted but this bit I shall put some scatter on to redo that bit. Also I will need to do a few touching up here and there such as here and there and also along here and I could do do with it with along here as well actually to be honest and also definitely here as you can see so it looks like I'll be getting out the green paint out again Touch that up, and might even glue a few bushes in places as well. Actually, up the top of here as well, it might also get painted as well. 
we could just leave it like that. Ballast there can just be scraped off, I suppose, and maybe perhaps put underneath the track. And obviously those bits there, this piece of card, they will get covered up. I might get just paint over those bits of card and then ballasting or whatever. So there's that to do. The touch-ups like that. Uh, also, ballasting. The track's obviously got to be ballasted. But that's something I won't be showing in this video. I might show that in a separate video, perhaps. Or mention it in a separate video, rather. But it won't be featured in this video. Obviously, you need to finish the bridge off by getting some bridge sides for it. And then wiring the track up, of course. And just a few more pieces of track need to be bought to finishing that up there. And then that's it, the project is done. One thing I do want to talk about that I haven't spoke about yet is I have ordered my first 009 locomotive. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. But it's not due to arrive until, well, it's not due to arrive at the shop until the 4th of September. Well, it's a model that's coming over from the US. Because the shop I bought it from is in this country in the UK but the model itself is being imported from America it's not an American locomotive but it's a model that's produced for the American market and it's coming over from there so I do believe that the 4th of September actually is when the supplier for that shop gets it in stock so it might not actually arrive at the shop itself on the 4th of September I don't know how long it could take, it might arrive at that shop in, during that week and then I'll probably get it during that week or the week after, I don't know but I shall feature that locomotive in this video obviously especially because all the track will need to be tested to make sure it works so that's it for now I better crack on with what else that needs to be done